Hey everybody, Dr. Brian Prax, and I am super excited today because Friday, today's Tuesday, but Friday of last week was the last day of our 75-day journey of Trust Your Gut program. So here we are today and just got measured with my body comp. So let's see if we can flip this around right here. So I have to admit that uh, I, I did really, really well, probably 95% um, I graded myself a 95 to a 98 percent on the Trust Your Gut program for 75 days. Had a cup of coffee, had a couple eggs, nothing really, really terrible, but I just have to be honest with you. I did really, really well on it. Now, I did go off. Last night we had a big celebration. It was Passover, and then we celebrated Easter the night before, so really kind of went off the rails. I'm you know, supposed to add one thing in at a time didn't quite do that. My sinuses if to report are a lot better. Is that getting me pretty good? Okay, good. My sinuses are a lot better. It's a lot of pollen out there and I don't really notice any allergy symptoms whatsoever. So cross the fingers. Now, last time I measured myself as far as weight goes, I was 183 and Wow, I went up to 186, so it looks like I had a really good time with Passover and Easter. It's like eating two Thanksgiving dinners in a row. Whew, not a good idea. But just check it out for somebody like me who you know, seems to be relatively thin and all that. People are often surprised when you check my, my weight here today at 186 pounds. Look at that, I'm up 0 .0, uh, or 0.8 pounds. Not a huge thing. But I'm bummed out at that. I'm showing in at 19.8% uh, as far as the body fat goes. That is coming in at the high range, darn it. Um, and then the other one I wanted to show you is the weight. I'm just barely in the standard range right there at 186.4. Um, but then I saw my BMI, and this is at 24.7. Now the thing is, is once somebody hits 25.0, then he's considered to be overweight. So here I am at six foot one, weighing in at 184 pounds, and I am right on that line of being overweight. Once that BMI climbs to 30, then we're obese, and then of course tons of things happen when we're in the overweight and obese category. Now, I'm not trying to justify, but one of the things that we do have to factor in that BMI doesn't re really look at at all is a guy like me, I work out six days a week, I run or walk three days a week, and I lift weights the other three days. So maybe it's these guns right here. Oh, maybe it's those guns that, that have added in that extra weight. I'm not exactly sure, but um, that's, that at least is my justification there. Um, so I'm not as really quite upset with the weight being 186. Um, I, I want to think that I've got uh, more muscle than I'd like, but to admit, when I look at the stat of the body fat, 19.8 in the high range. Now that, that doesn't come with bodybuilding, so that's definitely something I'm going to have to continue working with. Anyway, that is my, um, that's my feedback. The Trust Your Gut program was tough. It was a challenge. I'm proud of myself and my two kids, my two adult kids, for doing it with me and my wife, who did it as a vegetarian. Um, the biggest thing I can say is that uh, by eliminating foods, you're eliminating fun and you're eliminating freedom of choice, freedom and choice, but what you can get out of it is so, so much more. So, um, and for me, the sinuses are a lot better and that was well worth it. So I hope that helps you in any way. I'd love to see your comments below on anything um, that you have to comment on. And we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, I would ask you to hit the thumbs up button to like it. You can share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and please comment below. I will read it and I will respond. Thank you and have a nice day.